We cannot win this war by killing them, ISIS. We cannot kill our way out of this war. That is according to our very own State Department. State Department Deputy Spokesperson Marie Harf told Chris Matthews that we cannot win this war against ISIS by killing them. So what is her solution to stopping radical Islamic terrorists from murdering and taking over territory? Job opportunities. Seriously? Harf explained, we need in the longer term, medium and longer term to go after the root causes that leads people to join these groups, whether it's lack of opportunity for jobs, <laughs> Harf comments are woefully ignorant and naive. It only adds to the narrative that the Obama administration has, hasn't a clue about the true nature of the enemy the world is facing. This is incredibly dangerous. We are witnessing a definite moment in human history. Unfortunately, we have the wrong people in leadership in the White House to recognize this fact and deal with it appropriately. It is sad, fundamental truth that evil exists in the world. In previous centuries, we have seen it, whether it was the Holocaust and Hitler, Stalin or Pol Pot. In this century, we are witnessing it with the rise of ISIS and its savagery that is quickly spreading. The Obama administration will try and tell you that ISIS is not Islamic. That is fundamentally false. Can we finally do away with the fiction that has been perpetuated that the Islamic State and radical Islamic fascism doesn't have to do with Islam? At its core, ISIS is Islamic in its purest sense. Yes, it is an archaic view of its religion, but it is motivated entirely by a fundamental following of Islam. For the Obama administration to ignore this means that it will remain a false understanding of the enemy and therefore lack the appropriate response to deal with it. Obama is disconnected from truth and reality, blinded by a rigid ideology. This is why the American public aren't buying it when Obama and Kerry try to tell us that we are winning against ISIS. This is just simply not the case. The American people aren't as dumb as Obama may believe. They can read the news and see these terrible beheadings and murders and figures out there uh, that we are on the losing side of this battle thus far. It's no wonder that 57% of American disapprove of Obama's handling of ISIS according to a new poll by CNN ORC. A struggle of civil civilization is unfolding before our very eyes. This is a very precarious time and Obama is leading from behind. His administration is clueless. ISIS bruce brutality isn't about jobs. It is about a fundamental drive to establish an Islamic caliphate. Under our leaders, until our leaders can understand that motivation, we are doomed to defeat. I'll leave you with this comparison from Thomas Sowell to pre-World War II. Quote, Hitler and the Nazis were the junior varsity of their day in the eyes of the know-it-alls. Even after Hitler consolidated his political power in Germany, imposed a dictatorship and began building up a massive war machine, the Western democracies continued to believe that they could reach a peaceful understanding with him. There was euphoria in the West when British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain returned from a conference in Munich, waving an agreement signed by Hitler and declaring that it meant peace for our time. Our time turned out to be less than one year before the biggest and most ghastly war in history broke out in 1939.